really good Wednesday. You know, got some really good work in on our game plan, good special teams work. Thought our kids had a lot of juice and energy. You know, flew around, had great weather, and, uh, you know, so we continue to press forward. And with that, I'll open it up. Talk a little bit about competition Tuesday. You got a few moves over there on the old line. Yeah, Paul Gaynor's going to start at tackle. Paul has played really well the past few weeks and has worked his way up. Uh, he played really well in the game last week. You know, in the game, we were without Bryce and Mays. And then Paul went out because he hadn't been playing a whole lot. And he kind of got overheated. And so when some of our bad plays had, we had our fourth tackle in the game. And, uh, but we got Bryson back this week. But Paul's going to start with the way he's playing. It's probably the healthiest we've been on the O-line. And our best five to six, seven O-linemen going into the game that we've had this whole football season. So we really feel good about that. Hopefully take a step forward with that group. Uh, how's, how's Bolden solidified that right guard spot? Yeah, so John got in here uh, two days before camp. He was a JUCO All-American, extremely talented guy, heavily recruited, had to win a lot of battles to get him. He's finally learned what to do. And, uh, man, he's a really good player. He played really well in the game the other night. Uh, you know, him and Coker and Jerquan in the middle are three young guys. John's got two more years after now. Coker's got two more. Jerquan's got three more. They could be a formidable threesome in the middle for a long time. Did you talk about Dahl sliding back inside, kind of where he was last year? Yeah, we finally moved Hakeem back inside. You know, with Paul coming on and Bryson coming on, it gave us some more depth at tackle. When we can move him back inside, uh, he's a young man that, that hopefully can play better in there. Talk a little bit about the, the, the process. I'm watching Jake back there, young quarterback, obviously. Of, of just of being able just to stay on time, how much that would just make his life so much easier, or all of y'all's life. Yeah, right you know, the, the, there's some there's some coaching issues right there with me, uh, with, with with the offsides penalty. Those are inexcusable. Those are fixable. Those are going to be fixed this week. Uh, you know, to keep us on schedule. Uh, when you look at all of our devastating sacks, uh, outside of one of them, like I said, when our fourth tackle was in and the fumble stupid score, should have been a big play for us. We didn't make the block. The, the other sacks were mostly third and really long after we put ourselves in foolish situations with foolish penalties. Those are things we can control, right? That's like swinging at a bad pitch in baseball. You know, instead of a three and one count, it's a two and two count because you swung at a ball way out of the zone. That's foolish. And uh, we've got to fix that immediately. And uh, that's been a point of emphasis, obviously.